in U.S. politics, everything is seen in terms of the right versus the left. There is the temptation to view Pope Francis's comments about hot-button issues through that same lens. Father Robert Gall, an ethics professor at the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross, is joining us from Rome. Father, media often looks at the Holy Father and his comments through the lens of politics. What is wrong with that approach? Sure, right, especially during this political season, the political campaign right now, there's this tendency to see the Pope as, is he on the left, is he on the right? Is he in favor of a free market or is he in favor of redistribution? And this tends to simplify the message of the Pope and really reduce it. The Pope is addressing something much deeper all the time. He's really speaking to us about changing the heart, about conversion. What guidance does Pope Francis and the Catholic Church give us as we prepare for this year's U.S. elections? Well, coming up on these elections, of course, we have the, the, tr the traditional teaching of the Catholic Church, which Pope Francis has emphasized. In fact, last year in New York, when he spoke at the United Nations, he spoke of the importance of defending human life. He spoke about the importance of the family, about marriage, about combating the ideological colonization. He also spoke about the, the difficulty of there being the creation of new rights. And I think he was referring to the gender ideology when he mentioned that. So certainly Americans, as we're approaching the elections, need to take to heart the need that in the elections we seek out candidates who are really in favor of the common good that have this generosity of heart that they can put the, the human person at the center of political affairs, seeking common good, defending marriage, and defending, of course, religious freedom, so that we can all not just worship freely, but also that we can carry out activity in society that, is, that has been uh, catalyzed by our faith, by our Christian faith. And Father, the final report from the Synod on the Family finally due out later this week. What do you expect in that paper? There's a lot of excitement leading up to Friday with the publication of Amoris Laetitia, the joy of love, the, uh, the exhortation on, on the family. Uh, surely the Pope will reaffirm the value of marriage, of, of fidelity in marriage, and of openness to human life in marriage. But he's at the same time is going to address the crisis that we have in the world and in the church today regarding so many families that have broken apart. And he's going to offer advice and a welcoming message to all of these families who are suffering difficulties so they can come back to a more full participation in the life of the church. And he's also going to offer specific guidelines, surely, which because the Synod itself has proclaimed these guidelines in the final report regarding a more solid preparation for marriage for, for newly new couples and also that they can be helped by the wisdom of older couples who have been living their fidelity in marriage. And of course, the message of mercy and of forgiveness will surely shine forth in the apostolic exhortation. And we look forward to that release. Father Robert Gall, thanks for joining us from Rome. Thank you, Brian.